Adam Fierstein, three biotech companies, Ligand Pharmaceuticals, Biomarin, and Sangamo, they're all holding R&D meetings for investors next week. Tell me, can you give me a preview of what we may hear at these gatherings? Yeah, you know, sure, Greg. You know, December is when a lot of biopharma companies provide investors with guidance and expectations for next year. Um, so in various degrees, this is what Ligand, Biomarin, and Sangamo are going to be doing at, uh, at next week's R&D meetings. Uh, now, the Ligand meeting is Tuesday, December 4th. Um, and I expect the focus there will be on uh, Promacta. This is Ligand's drug that treats patients who have low platelet counts. Uh, now, last week, FDA approved Promacta for use in hepatitis C patients. Uh, in the future, Ligand would like to expand the use of Promacta to treat cancer patients uh, who often suffer from low platelets uh, as a side effect to, answer can to anti-cancer therapies. Biomarin's meeting is Thursday, December 6th. So I expect the company will be talking about its recent clinical trial wins, some big wins. Yeah, that's right. You know, BioRate will definitely be talking about the approval and filing uh, and some launch planning for gowns. Now, this is a new therapy for the often disease Morkeo syndrome. They just had a, a nice clinical trial win there. Um, on the R&D front, I'd expect Biomarin to discuss plans for a, a long-acting drug to treat phenylketonuria. Uh, they also have a drug under development in ovarian and breast cancer. And then a third drug to treat Pompe disease, uh, which is another rare genetic disorder. And Sangamo's meeting is also on Thursday, December 6th. Yeah, that's right. Now, Sangamo will be providing an update and um, some new timelines for its gene therapy for HIV. Uh, it's a pretty interesting approach. Uh, it seeks to cure patients by mimicking a rare genetic mutation that renders cells impervious uh, to infection by the virus that causes AIDS.